In this situation, you know how much you expect to have in your retirement account at the moment of retirement, and you want to be able to take monthly withdrawals. Knowing that, you can figure out how much you can take out each month. So in this example, you expect to have $500,000 in your account at the moment of retirement, and you want to take withdrawals for a total of 30 years. Again, all we need is the payout annuity formula, because notice this is the payout annuity that starts with a lump sum and regular withdrawals are taken, as opposed to regular payments being made building toward a lump sum. So we're using the payout annuity formula, and again, we pay attention to what we're given and what we're asked for. We're given P, the lump sum, and asked for PMT, the withdrawal amount. So, with a lump sum amount of $500,000, PMT is unknown. So then we have one minus, in parentheses, one plus R, 8% over N, 12, because these are monthly withdrawals, to the negative 12 times 30, because we want to take withdrawals for 30 years, all over R divided by N. So, again, if we want to solve for the payment amount, or the withdrawal amount, we need to figure out everything in brackets, we'll simplify that to one number, divide that by 0 .08 over 12, and then we'll have a single number times PMT equals 500,000, and then we'll divide 500,000 by that single number to solve for PMT. On the calculator, I'll start again by calculating the innermost parentheses, so 1 plus 0 .08 divided by 12, raise that to the negative 12 times 30, or negative 360, then take 1 minus that answer. That answer is everything in brackets in the numerator. Now if I divide this by 0 .08 divided by 12, this number times the payment amount equals 500,000, the lump sum. So if I divide 500,000 by this amount, I find that the regular withdrawal amount that I can take every month for those 30 years is $3,668.82. In reality, when actually planning for retirement, what you'll usually do is start with the payment amount. In other words, you'll think about how much you'll want to withdraw each month after retirement, and then you'll work backwards from that to figure out how much you'll need to have in your retirement account when you retire, and then work backwards from that to figure out how much you need to put in each month now to reach that goal. So the process usually starts at the end and works backwards to how much you need to deposit now. In any case, the answer to this question is that if you have half a million in your retirement account when you retire, you can take monthly withdrawals of $3,600 every month for 30 years.